Hey everyone, today we're going to be dealing with creating this lighting scene. Um, now this thing has uh, our mental ray physical sun and sky, but it also has uh, the light fog that we've been creating through Maya software. And you might be asking, how can we combine the two renders? Well, the way we do it is by rendering them separately and then putting them in Photoshop to composite. So uh, if we break it down, what we have is uh, basically three different renders. Um, one for our beauty pass of just the mental ray one of the light fog and one of the god rays so that when we combine them all together it kind of looks like this and we can just kind of like change the blending mode now uh, so there's a couple good things that comes out of this is that if one of these um, is erroneous like it's not good like we made an error with it or the render didn't come out properly we can re-render just that layer instead of everything right um, you also have the opportunity to adjust each of these layers individually so I can change the color of the god rays or I can also just change the levels to make it brighter or to make it kind of like less bright you know I have a lot of control okay so let's begin let's take a look at our Maya file um, and when we look into this there's actually a couple things I'd like you to know um, the ground I'll name it for you guys uh, so we have the ground plane, the two walls, and the three objects, but we also have um, a render cam that I've set up for you. So go ahead and turn like one of these objects into the render cam, or one of these perspectives into the render cam. This render cam does have a keyframe on it, so if you do accidentally move it, just scrub on the timeline. Okay? But uh, we're going to create, first and foremost, our physical sun and sky. So we have to have our mental ray up, indirect lighting, and physical sun and sky create. Okay, we can close out of that now, and we should have that right in the center of the screen. Um, let's move that, I'm going to look in this view. Let's move that up here and hit T so that we can point that directly to the tip of our cone. Okay, um, but I don't want it uh, pointing this way, like to uh, kind of like off to an angle. So I'm going to hold X and snap to the grid so that it's kind of going in a straight line. Okay? It's going to be lined up with our um, cone here, however just in a straight line uh, along the X axis. Alright? Um, so this is all set actually. If we take a look in our render cam and do a render, it should look fine. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. In fact, if we wanted to bring this a little closer, we absolutely can. Now's a good time to do it. Okay. Um, let's take a look in our channel box because something that we haven't talked about before is how to create render layers. If we take a look down here in the layers, we have display, render, animation. And I'll hit render, and you'll notice that master layer is already there. Um, but what I'm going to do instead is just select everything and create. Uh, click this last button to create a new layer and assign all the objects in here. And let's name this beauty pass. Okay, the beauty pass is just going to be the base. It's going to be our physical sun and sky. Um, let's click back on master layer. We'll talk about layers as we go through. So now what we need to do is set up our um, our spotlight. So let's snap this so that it's sitting directly on this object, and then hit T and snap this so it's on the tip of the cone, but then hit X and snap it to the center of the grid like that. Okay, that way it's um, it's going straight through the window, lined up directly as the uh, the physical sun sky is. I'll hit seven so I can see if it's hitting it at all, and it's kind of missing here. So what I'll do is uh, increase the cone angle, just so that it sort of like reaches the whole thing. Okay, and of course we need to create our light effects. So for light fog. And uh, this won't render the whole thing, so I'll have to increase this so it touches all of this stuff. And I'll have to turn on shadows, depth map shadows. For now, I'll sit to 512 just so it renders faster, and I'll figure stuff out from there. Okay. Now, uh, this is, while we're rendering our light fog, we don't want to render out our mental, mental ray stuff, our physical sun and sky. What I'm going to do is select everything but the physical sun and sky. You can see that the, the sun is not selected. And I'll 
hit this button again, create a new layer, assign selected objects, and I'll rename this to uh, light fog pass. Okay, so something you'll notice is that when I click on beauty pass, I don't see the light fog. When I click on light fog pass, I don't see the sun. The render, this render layer, you can actually like remove objects from. So remove object. That means that that's not going to render out on this render pass. Okay, but it will on this. Uh, that was just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to actually put it back in. Uh, let's do a test render. Uh, but when we render, we'll have to check to make sure that this is going in Maya software. Okay, it's hard for me to kind of see what's going on here, so I may want to um, change some of my settings. Okay, so this is my final render, um, and I can hit this keep image button uh, just for posterity's sake. Uh, the render time took a minute and 20. It kind of took a long time uh, just to run you through my settings. Put the light intensity up to 2. Uh, I had to bump up the cone angle, so yours might be different. Um, the light fog, you know, I created. The fog intensity I set to 2. Uh, the resolution on the depth map shadows is to 2048, so that these aren't so pixelated. Um, the shadow, fog shadow intensity, I set to 2, so this is a little darker right here. And the shadow samples is 40, because it was getting a little, uh, um, a little noisy up in this area. Okay? So this is... These are my settings that I created for this. All right. So what we have to create now, both of these look pretty good, is um, we're going to go back to the master layer. And I'm going to create another light and do the same thing. I'm going to snap it to this position, snap its aim to the top of the cone, and set it more or less in the same spot right here, right in line, right? Um, this thing, I'm going to try to pretty much replicate the same options that I've had in this. So I'll create another light fog. I'll scale it up. And this thing has a cone angle of 61, 103. Yours may be different. It might be a good idea to change this name too. It's going to be called uh, God Ray Spotlight. Our other one was the Light Fog Spotlight. So we'll try to set the settings just about the same. The intensity was 1.5, I believe. Depth map shadows. 2048 with 40 sh uh, fog shadow samples. Okay, um, but the difference is that this guy. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and put all this stuff in a layer. Oops, might be easier if I do this in the outliner. I want the ground, this plane, this plane, cone, sphere, cube and the god ray spotlight. So I'm holding command and clicking on that to, to add it. Now let's make a new layer and rename this god ray's pass. Okay. Um, in the past I've tried uh, duplicating and adding it to this new layer. It didn't really work out so well, which is why I'm just recreating it in general. All right. So we have this light fog pass and this god ray's pass right here. Now the difference here is that we're going to actually add a file to this color going to be um, it's going to be this fractal and this fractal is kind of cool you can actually make it animated and um, uh, set values on this time but what doing a fractal does and I'll scrub so it's back here is that it's going to create um, light rays coming down but issue is I don't want it to interact with this floor Okay, so what might be nice is if we go to the relationship editor, light linking, light centric, we'll find the god ray spotlight and deselect the ground. So let's do a render.
All right, so what we have are the god rays coming in. We don't see that ugly texture that we saw yesterday on the ground, which is good because we unlinked those two. So you know what? I'll keep this image as well. And here's, um, here's the thing. We have all of our things set up properly. Now, uh, there's one last issue, which is when we go into the render settings for the beauty pass, it'll set to Maya software, which is annoying. So if we set this up to mental ray, uh, we can click on light fog pass and we can check the settings and this is annoying. It's set to mental ray still. It's like this one I want to be my software. And for the beauty pass, I want it to be mental ray. It's not letting me do that. The reason is that we have to create an override. So if you right click on this render layer or render using, we can then create layer override. This down below um, now turns red, which tells me it has an override. And over here for light fog pass, I can do the same thing. I can render this using software and override. And the text itself turns orange. This down here turns red, lets you know that there's an override happening. Same thing here. I'm going to create an override for my software. So I know that this is software, software, and mental ray. Okay? Um, in fact, let's just go ahead and render that out. It's a funny world when your mental ray renders faster than your, uh, your software one. Let's keep the image here. Okay, so we have our three images that we'd like to keep. Cool. Um, at this point, let's go ahead and save them all out. I'm going to save this as a JPEG. And I'll save the other ones as a PNG. I'm calling this one Light Fog Pass. I'm calling this one God Rays Pass. Now let's bring it into Photoshop. I can open our beauty pass and then place whoops, our light fog pass and also place our god rays pass. Um, both of these I think are coming into some kind of smart object or something. So we'll just right click and rasterize these layers. That's how I like to deal with it. And let's just look at the light fog pass first. We can set this to lighten or screen or color dodge or linear dodge or whatever. I'll set it to screen. So now the light is coming through. Same thing for God rays pass. We can set this to screen and we can see it being affected. Okay. Now you'll notice that the, uh, the, the shape of the light on the floor doesn't quite match and that's because we're using two separate types of lights. We're using a direction light which is all parallel and we're using a spotlight which is kind of going out in an angle. Um, so that's kind of unavoidable I suppose. Um, but you know looking pretty good. The only thing you could do about that I suppose is if that uh, for the light fog pass you unlinked the floor and the light fog but that may come up with a, its own problems. From here, we have some really awesome options. We can um, change the opacity of either of these things if we don't want them so bright. We can also uh, hit Command U or um, Image Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, Colorize to give it like a, a tint of whatever color we want. I'll leave the lightness right where it is. And then for the god rays, we can do the same thing. Do saturation, colorize, right? Saturate the heck out of that if we want. And there we go. We have our composited image all put together.